Hello everybody, it's Cole Override here. I just thought I would tell you how to get Google's attention and YouTube's attention to deal with this Google Plus integration that has been, well, everybody's headache. The way you do it is not by posting Bob, movie scripts, or any other kind of actual spam like that. The way you do it is by using YouTube's own feedback system. At the bottom of every single YouTube page, there is a little help button right here. You can use this help button to send feedback right here. Okay, through this, and I'll walk you through it all, you can use this to complain about literally any part of any YouTube page. Uh, take, for example, my recommendations over here. When I relinked my channel to Google+, Plus, like they forced me to, I lost several years worth of recommendation history. And now, as you can see, the only things I am receiving in my recommendations are subscription videos. Usually videos that, well, quite frankly, I didn't want to watch from that subscriber to begin with, such as Les Miserables. Nostalgia Critic, uh, Friendship is Witchcraft, uh, Full House, I have no interest in Full House, or The Room, or Scooby-Doo. Signs, I like that video, but then again, it's just funny. And I just watched it, literally, yesterday. So, the way that you send the feedback is by highlighting you click this little high by button here and you can highlight large sections of where you're having the problem at. You can also black out personal information. However, you need to do the blackout option before you do the highlight option. Say for instance, I had my user area here open and I wanted to hide things like my Google Plus identity and such. I could black it out and then go back and highlight that whole area as you can see here. This is how you do it. Flood their technical support inboxes with complaints about the new system. This is the only way to get YouTube and Google to pay attention to us is to continue to complain about it. This can also be done on regular pages, such as with the comment system, even though, ironically, the feedback system does eliminate the comment, uh, the comment feed, as you can see. However, you can still highlight the area where the comments were and provide a detailed description of what your problem is, i.e., URLs in the comments, unlimited characters, Google Plus integration, etc. This is how you get their attention. Uh, the other way is pretty obvious. You get the attention the other way by hitting them where it hurts. Content creators, stop producing content. If you stop producing content, people will cease to come to that area. Give them notice that you're going to leave YouTube for a month in order to protest these changes that were wholly unwanted, wholly unnecessary, and quite frankly, stupid. Utterly and completely stupid. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as a last point of note, I will be uploading some more videos soon. Uh, I had some medical issues that prevented me from being able to work for long periods of time at my computer. However, I'm a little better now and have already composed some more music. I'm working on the last few measures for my next video, which will be a gaming video featuring Terraria bosses. Uh, I've already recorded several new videos as well. I just have to do the sound editing on them and score compositions. Uh, so look forward to some new videos to be released by me, though I am debating releasing them on Daily Motion or one of the other video sites for the simple fact that conversations are utterly impossible to follow now on YouTube. Uh, well, 
that's pretty much it. That's how you get YouTube's attention. I do recommend putting into the feedback section under details at the very bottom that they need to fire anybody associated with Google Plus as they have no concept of what a decent social networking site is like, nor how to integrate a social networking site into an already established social community. So that's pretty much all I have to say. So Culver right out. Y'all have a great day.